Jesus Christ. <laughs> What's going on, fellow YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while. Today, we're going to be doing another modification, another how to video. I'm going to try to go through in detail and walk you through this one. It's another simple one. You should be in and out a couple minutes, five, 10 minutes tops. This video might take me a little while longer because I'm going to be walking you through it. Today is going to be my first, it's going to be a bit different because it's going to be my first modification that actually adds performance. Everything else I've done in the past has been cosmetic, but I do got a couple performance modification parts that I've bought that I just have not put on. I just, I can't seem to get the time lately. But today we do have time. I'm going to try to get this one knocked out really quick for you guys. We're going to be installing the Hellcat intake on this SRT, the 392 SRT. Now the tools needed are very simple. We're gonna be getting it all done with just an eight millimeter socket and a flathead. That is it. We'll also need some um, some like weather stripping type foam. I'll show you why down in there. I believe I have some already in my shed. So I'll go, I'll grab that shortly. But that's all you're gonna need. This extension, you really don't need. It'll make the job easier. And I'll show you why here in just a second. All right, so as we all know, when it comes to these intake systems, all these brands, uh, JBL, uh, KNN, all of them, they're all gonna claim that you can get anywhere from 10 to 15 horsepower. Some of them even say you're gonna get as much as 17 horsepower. You're not gonna get that. Don't expect that. I believe it's a myth. Do I think you'll get a, a small boost in power? Yes. Will your car sound better? Yes. Your throttle response? Maybe. But 15 horsepower? Um, possibly if you tune it but they don't tell you that part tuning on this car can cost you several hundred dollars because you have to unlock well you know what that's a whole nother story we're not even going to go into that just know that don't expect all that horsepower even if you pay five six hundred dollars for your air intake which to me actually these closed box air intakes are a bit better if you ask me because these big motors put off a lot of heat You'll know it if you ever drive your car somewhere, you, you pop your hood instantly, you stick your head in here, all that heat just hits you. you, you feel it. And that is what is being sucked up through these filters. It's just all that hot heat, it's heat soaking. So these closed box, I like it, it's pulling air. This one is actually pulling air from down underneath the car. And you'll be able to see it more once I pull this apart. But the one that I'm about to put on here will actually pull air from the front of the car as well. And this right here is what I thought was pretty neat with what Dodge had did. The Hellcats come this way already. This car in the Scat Pack doesn't come this way, but you can, it's an easy, easy modification. So I have the headlight, the fog light, and this is more of just like a decoy type light. There's actually nothing behind that. Um, now, this ring, this LED ring, yes, it does work. It's, it's fully functional, but there is nothing here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here. We're going to pull apart this, set it aside. Now, in order to get this out, it's super simple. You're going to reach down in here. There's three clips, three plastic clips that are in here. What you're going to want to do is pinch them and push outward, and it should come out with ease. So let's see. A lot of this stuff I'm going to be trying to do with one hand while carrying this camera. So it's going to look a little harder with me doing it, but if you got two hands, it's really easy. And there we go, it's actually out. Voila, there's the clips I was referring to. Let me set that aside. Now look, you can see straight through. That is where we're gonna be getting this cooler air from. It's gonna be shooting cool air straight into our intake box. Now, in order to get this off, all you gotta do is, you're gonna have one, two, three screws that you gotta get rid of. You pull them out. You're gonna have your fourth one here. And then you have to loosen up this clamp. Now all these could be taken out with just a flathead screwdriver. But I got this extension to make it a little bit quicker.
Okay, so now that we have all of the screws out, there's one last hose right here that you're gonna wanna get off. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my screwdriver. It'll come off. Again, I'm trying to do this with one hand, but if you have two hands, it'll be super easy. And you just, there we go. Just like that. So you're gonna wanna remove this, sit it aside. All right, and just lift up on the top portion. There we go. And that's off. Side. All right, and it looks like it was time for a filter change anyway. I'm looking pretty dirty. Yep, definitely time. I'm not even sure how a dragonfly would get in there. Wow. This bottom piece is ready to come on out. I left this wrap on to show you that it is from Mopar, so it is a legit part. Now to show you guys the minor differences. All right, at first glance, you won't notice any major differences. They're shaped alike. One thing that I noticed right away is the volume area in this box is much, much bigger. This, this side over here, this far back side, it, it veers straight down, allowing more air into this area. Whereas if you look over here, this whole piece right here that curves out, leaving this small area for air. And you're gonna need this added area for all the extra air that's gonna be being pulled in through the front of the car. So that's gonna help more air, better performance, cooler air, better performance, and should work out for me. Okay, now that I got the boxes turned around, you can see the air inlet area on here, which isn't on the factory box. So that's perfect, that's gonna allow all the air to come in also in my box the intake tube so this is how this is going to work this is going to fit into there that's going to run into the front of my car where the the headlights are and voila so now back to the installation when you purchase this it is not going to come with everything you need to install this one back on you're going to have to remove this little rubber piece right there off of the old one so that you can mount it back onto your car as you can see it's not on here all you're gonna have to do is i'm not gonna be able to do it with one hand it's just slide that out of there push it onto there one other thing that you're gonna want to do this one right here isn't necessary but i would recommend it flip them over really don't want to scratch the new one so i'm going to sit it in the grass you flip them over this has this foam here kind of like a foam little gasket it's more or less used for sealant to to seal this off because it's pressed up against your car so this will seal off the gap and it'll give it a nice flush little sealant the new one will not come with it some people throw it on just like that um i'm not going to i'm going to put this foam on my new one here's another thing it sits up against the body of your car on the inside so they have this foam pad here once again, the new one does not come with it. Okay, guys. So I finally have my foam ceiling on here. I got my three strips to replace this padding here. And just in case you're wondering, what I use is actually foam window sill. You can get that down from Lowe's or anywhere for about $3. One last thing is you need to remove this rubber piece of garment from this old box, from your original box, and put it onto your new Hellcat, bo your new Hellcat box. I ah, can't talk today because this will not come with one. So I'm going to go ahead and get this box thrown back onto the car and then we're going to open up that filter, which is a K&N filter. So I'm hoping that it works twice as well as the, the paper filter that this car came with. All right, so now let's work on getting this new air filter out. So again, this is the old one. It's more of a paper type filter. Mine was extremely dirty. Somehow got bugs and everything all up in there. So now we will be going to this K&N one. That's weird, the filter isn't even in the box. All right, 
So these things are oil based. So when you get them there, you'll actually be able to see oil in the bag and everything itself. But the thing about these that allow them to flow a lot better, these are cotton, they're not paper. So the flow will be a lot better. So here we are. These you can get, I, I want to say they're all, uh, they're, they're reusable, they're washable. So they're supposed to be a lifetime for as long as your car lasts. I'll end up changing mine out. I doubt I'll just keep cleaning mine and reusing it. I'll end up changing it out at some point. Let's get this set into the car. See how it fits. All right, perfect fitment. Nice and snug. And that is it. We're going to get this top piece back covered on it. Get our three screws back in there. Don't forget to plug up your holes. Tighten this up. Recover this area. And you are done.